everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Wild Heart 50 litre pannier bags, the most sold bags on Amazon Marketplace. First thing on these bags, I have tested these thoroughly. I just did a 600 kilometer trip with them and I loaded them beyond their recommended capacity. So in this side over here, I wound up putting in about 10 kilos worth of stuff. And then on that side, um, I put about the same and then I actually loaded stuff on top of it just to see how it would respond with stuff in it and whether you could load stuff on top of it with the straps. It was also in about 40 degrees Celsius heat out on the dirt roads in the middle of nowhere and we were sending it with these things. We were probably flying down dirt roads with bumps and rocks and everything at about 100 kilometers per hour and these things were bouncing all over the place and I see absolutely no aspects of it tearing or to give you a bit of a closer look over them that's how they sit against the side over here we've got two straps and then we've got two straps on the one side and two on the other and these wrap around my pannier racks over here now i don't really think that these were originally designed for adventure bikes because the straps don't really line up they seem to be more for large scooters but with the straps that are available you can MacGyver the rest on. So over here I just need a tail rack so I just use small dog leads to keep that on. You've also got this large strap at the back which you can use to fold over the top but I don't really use that because I don't trust Velcro over proper straps to hold everything on. If you don't have rear racks they do have a tendency to sag at the bottom over here and they can touch your exhaust pipe. So that is something to consider, but you could just tighten them because these are adjustable and quite wide. Now, due to the lack of straps, what I've done is you can just take bungee cords and wrap them around the sides over here. And what that allows you to do is then also wrap them over the top of the bag that you put at the top over here. And that actually supports the bags a little bit more, so the weight of this is holding down the duffel bag as well and that worked perfectly. You've also got straps at the bottom if you want to tighten it and it is sagging a little bit. But, you know, I didn't find the sagging too bad once you've got these things run to capacity. It's only once you're not really putting in the max capacity that they start to sort of sag at the bottom. So how these bad boys wrap up, there, it folds a couple of times. You got two clips on either side over here. So you've got one there. one and one here and then you've got some clips over the top and those work perfectly now when I had these loaded I had most of my stuff inside this one and then the one on the other side I ran my tent through the top over here now I can't see it now but when I was riding I was seeing some separation where the thread was with the strap meets the rear strap which folds over the back of the bike but now that I'm here I'm not seeing it all so I'm not really sure how long they're gonna last if you keep loading stuff on top of it but when you load stuff inside of it I saw absolutely no deterioration whatsoever so I'd give them a 5 out of 5 considering I was definitely pushing them past their capacity and what they should do. So that's just them over here and it's between these threads over here with the strap that goes over the top and the strap at the back that I was seeing a tiny bit with all of the weight and bouncing around that I was doing. But there's been no damage whatsoever. That's just, you know, scratches from me tying stuff down badly. But they have worked perfectly the whole time. I'm very impressed with them and would recommend them. Those are the bags. I'm very happy with them. I would recommend them. Um, at the end of the video, please check out the trip that I did. That's the trip where I tested them over 600 Ks and I drove the living daylights out of those things and they work perfectly. If you do want to get some, please use the link in the description as that helps my channel quite a lot. And please subscribe if you enjoy this content or like to see motor vlogs and adventures. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and do all the things. And remember folks, if you're stuck in a rut, try something new, fix something or change something up. Cheers, bye.